What is up, you guys? Jackson. I wish Jackson was in the frame right there because he was very startled. Come here. Good hey. Time. Hi, guys. So this is like our intro. Yeah. To the, to the vlog. And kind of to our channel, too. To our channel, too. Yeah, because we didn't do any intros for the Costa Rica vlogs. I'm or Trevor. the DIY. This is Hannah. Hi. This is Jagger. <laughs> Jackson, you want to get in the frame? Watch this. You ready? Up, up. Oh no. This is Jackson. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, get back down. Okay, boys. Whoa. And this is our live. Yeah. <laughs> no. Welcome to it. So this is just gonna this is just gonna be a journey. Yeah. It is. On our our day to day activities, which isn't really our much. Life. Because this is this is what we do. I'm in school. Mm -hmm. I'm in law school. Hannah is studying for the MCAT. Yeah. Go ahead and talk about it. How much time you spend on that? Honestly, not as much as I should be, but I'm getting there. Something I'm working on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. It's gonna be. When is my exam? It's like March, late March. It was gonna be January, but it's been postponed to March. So I'm gonna be spending couple months studying on for that so it's kind of just a day-by-day -day thing I usually give myself off on the weekends and just kind of relax like we live in such a nice area we like to do act like awesome activities we just recently moved to Orlando so this whole place is new to us we're from Panama City Beach Florida we both went to we both went to high oh my goodness we both went to high school together we're high school sweethearts we have been together. Did you, did you video the picture that I that was pulled up on my phone? The memory of me asking the phone? I did, I did. That, that was, was before we dated. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been together for a little over five years now. Bro. No. Yeah, he's a little licky boy. Alright, let's get off the couch. Yeah. Let's get off the couch. Yeah, so we've been together over a little over five years now. Um, Trevor is in his second year of law school. Obviously, the first year was online because of COVID. So we just recently moved here for his school. He's at Barry University. Is it Barry University? Is that what you say, University? It's not really at Barry University. It's I like Barry Law School. Barry, Barry School law. of Law. Dwayne O. Andreas. What? That was called Dwayne O. Andreas. Yeah, so we actually just filmed our outro, so we're coming back from the night, and we just thought that we would film our intro because we realized that we haven't even done, like, an intro to this weekend vlog or an intro to, like, ourselves. But I, I think I said, mentioned this earlier that I feel like you guys will get to know us a little bit more as this progresses. And obviously, as Trevor said, like, it's hard. It's, like, hard for to get... Jagger, I wish you would stop. It's hard to get everything into our life just because it's we're not going to be videotaping everything all the time just because we're in school, so it's not that interesting. But I think a lot of it is. I feel like a lot of it is what everybody else is going through too. And we're just like, our, I think our goal in this is just to be as genuine as possible. Like, I don't want to be something that I'm not. I don't want to portray something that I'm not. And so I want you guys to all like, I don't know, I guess just kind of be along this ride with us. I've been really looking forward to doing this kind of stuff. It's very, like, therapeutic yeah. for me. No, no. Oh, my. Oh, my. Jesus. Off the couch. And Trevor is obviously, like, really supportive of it. I feel like you've actually been very supportive of this process. More than I feel like most people would be. <sighs> anyway, the real reason I'm doing that is because I really actually enjoy filming. Why are you biting And I feel me? like it kind of gives me a positive outlook no. on life in a way. No. Because I feel like it kind of makes me want to be a better version of myself because the idea that other people are watching which is a little bit ridiculous but I feel like sometimes you need that push yes we haven't been anywhere look at this you put him in a full Nelson real quick he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know what to do this intro <laughs> has gone south well I'm really excited to hear from each and every one of you I hope you guys would I would love to interact with you guys so if you want ah. Oh, He's literally pulling my hair. Okay. Anyway, I would love to hear from each and every one of you guys. So I would hope you guys would comment. I would love to comment back and like keep a little dialogue going. 
yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this. I'm very excited about it, actually. I bet my face doesn't say that because I'm so tired right now. This is actually a horrible time to this film This was an such intro. a horrible time to film, to film an intro, but as I said, like I feel like progressively through this journey, you will learn more about us and we will open up more. I feel like this is kind of like a new friendship where you don't want to divulge everything just yet. And as I said earlier, it's like if someone asks you everything about you, it's very hard to answer that off the bat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, tell me about yourself. What would you say? My name is Trevor. Yeah, I'm really cool. Yeah, when it comes to... Hannah. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. I was not going to say that, but... That would have been nice of you. I was going to say something about something else. What? So, and say it was like really cool. But like what? I don't know. Well, my version was better, so. Okay, guys, so we're literally half asleep right now, but we just wanted to do this real quick. And we hope you guys like our weekend vlog, and we can't wait for more to come. All right. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Is it good morning for you? Is it good morning for you, Jackson? Is it such a good morning for that Bobby? Oh my goodness, Jackson, good morning. Okay, good morning guys. So, it is super rainy outside. We had plans to go on a walk this morning. We had plans to go on a walk this morning at like 6 a.m. Didn't happen, we went to bed super late. Got up at like 10. So, I don't know for sure what our plans are today. I really, since it's rainy and like, we checked the percentage and it's like literally 100% all day until like 4 p.m. So yeah, I think- that, it's like 80%. Yeah, then it like goes down to like 80%. Wait, at 4 p.m. is it 80 or is it just- it's like, it's like 60, but- The dogs are getting stir crazy. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, Jackson. Um, Jackson hates the rain. Trevor had an episode with him. He literally had to drag him out into the rain just to go pee. And I feel bad because I don't want him to have to hold it all day. But it's like, if he won't go, he won't go. So, I think maybe I'm going to probably tidy up the place. I'm uploading the video right now. It is taking forever. Last night's video, did it, it didn't upload the DIY video. Um, the, the DIY outdoor um, desk so you guys would have already seen it but I'm uploading that right now and I'm gonna do some schoolwork today for sure since it's just like the day for it I just hate being inside doing it I already verbalized that but our plan was to like just have a nice walk and go to the coffee shop really early and like watch the sunrise but maybe tomorrow is it raining tomorrow I think so oh nice Orlando so just rolling with it I have to want to get some things put up though and go to the gym what time are we gonna go to the gym I'm done whenever you're so very beautiful how'd you get to be so beautiful hmm can you tell me? What's your secret? You're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I have no idea why this big dog <laughs> wants to be under this small table instead of his comfy bed over there. I'm assuming it's because the little one takes it up. But this just cracks me up. Are you cozy under there, Bubs? 
Is that the spot to be? Are you cozy? Oh no. some groceries for the week because we we're running really low i usually do that on sundays but we're pretty low so uh, throughout the week we'll write random things that we need like on the whiteboard on the fridge so i have that out to the side but what i really like to do is i just plan like four or five meals for the week and just assume that we'll have leftovers from at least like one or two of the meals and that usually gets us by just fine and like obviously like i don't really plan out breakfast and like lunches i just plan out dinners Okay, Baby, and then don't have I know that's I why we're doing food. this. Let me focus up. So we literally are complete. Oh, frozen fruit, bananas. I'm gonna freak Okay, so I've got some like jazz music playing on in the background because I've been studying and listening to that because it's still pouring and we're not able to go to the gym just yet, but our groceries just got delivered and we actually got a lot, so I thought I would just do a little haul because I don't know, maybe some people might be interested in it. If not, you can skip ahead. But this is just, I got some spinach. I've been adding this to my smoothies lately. Oh, focus. Adding it to my smoothies lately, and I also eat it with eggs. Um, I basically eat spinach pretty much every day. And then baby arugula, I really love arugula um, in salads and um, wraps, whatever. And then we got two things of these pasture-raised organic eggs. Vanilla almond butter, Trevor really likes the crunchy peanut butter. Um, a can of pineapples, because this is what I'm gonna use for the um, mojo chicken. I've really been craving these pickles like crazy, so I got several of them. Some veggies, some green beans, broccoli. This was from last time. This is acorn squash and stuff. That's not from this haul. But um, I haven't had like potatoes in a hot minute, so I was like really craving some potatoes with rosemary. It sounded really yummy. Bell pepper, yellow onion, seasonings. I really love this brand of the uh tortillas they're so good because it's i try to i'm not fully gluten free but i do try to eat gluten free as much as i can and these are the best brand i found that's gluten free because gluten does sometimes upset my stomach so i do try to avoid it when i can obviously i do cheat on it a little bit but these are really good i definitely recommend those trevor is obsessed with hummus he can literally eat this in like a day so we get the family size regular, and then I got him roasted garlic. We switch it up all the time. He's really not too particular. Um, this is the best sausage ever. It's the apple with gouda. I used to eat it all the time. I like saute it in a pan with onions. Oh my gosh, onions and peppers, and it is the best. Um, this stuff is for lasagna, and then Trevor likes to make sandwiches. Some strawberries, bananas for smoothies, and fruit. I'm running out of rice. I love this stuff. I need to stop because I can eat this whole bag in a day too, but I need to try to control myself. And then this is some Stacy's pita chips for his hummus. Milk, not for me. Um, I'm definitely trying to be dairy free. So like, obviously this is not dairy free and it'll probably hurt my stomach. But with milk, I've never liked milk and I just don't drink it. We get this brand of cold brew. I really like it. Um, and I like this 
this one, the um, unsweetened medium roast. I think it's the best. Uh, oat milk, walnuts. We make this salmon dish all the time and it has walnuts in it. And honestly, I used to not like nuts, but walnuts have become like my favorite. Um, nut pod creamer. I usually add, um, I add the silk coconut milk to it as well for my coffee. So I mix it up. Frozen fruit, strawberries, blueberries, just some chicken breast and ground turkey. This is for tacos and I think I'm gonna do like crock pot chicken one night. And then over here, these are just the snacks. Trevor's obsessed with Cheez-Its. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I love, I don't love them, but I'll snack on them. Uh, power waffles. I've been on a little kick of eating these in the mornings. They're so good with some um, dairy-free yogurt. So good. And then I haven't had these in a hot minute and I just saw them and they're gluten-free. So I was like, I'm going to snag those because I love this brand of cookies so much. Not very good for you, but very yummy. And these are gluten-free. Um, aren't they? I think they're, yeah, they're gluten-free. Simple Mills, um, rosemary and sea salt. This is like these are the best crackers. They're so, so good. The only thing I will say, it doesn't come with much, but this flavor, like I've tried the um, their regular flavor, it's really good too, but I just really love this rosemary and sea salt flavor. It is so yummy. But yeah, that's just our little grocery stall. We, grocery haul. We still have not gone to the gym yet. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, but it's still pouring. I'm gonna show you guys my little setup over here. It is just like, it should not be this dark right now. It's craziness. I'm gonna see if I can open the door. I don't wanna get the camera wet. Wow. It's like, downpour. Oh, dagger. No, no, no. Sir, don't drink that, please. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid. Just like the We just came home from the gym. And Jackson has gotten into the trash and eaten who knows what. Look at him. Guilty. Guilty. He is the absolute worst oh, dog to walk with. Shorts. Yeah, it's really cold. My camera's shaking so bad, he's literally so hard to walk. When it's just him and I, it's so easy. Jagger. He loves to pull. Yeah, it's just too much. Okay. Babe, what about the wrist thing? Jackson has on, to pee Jackson. on like every single tree. Come on, Jackson. See the ducks, Jax. Look at the ducks. Guess the. Does don't, Jagger even notice? Don't Jagger spook him. No. <laughs> He's got an acorn in his mouth. He's like Jagger. <laughs> I feel like Jagger is totally like squirrel like. Jagger. Do do do. Jagger. Jagger man. He said, I'm too. Okay, so we just came back from the walk and we're gonna go ahead and prep dinner. We're gonna do stuffed acorn squash and I went and had to have Trevor cut the squash in half because it's really difficult but i covered it liberally in some avocado oil and then over here i've got 
onions and garlic sauteing. Let me go ahead and put some salt. This is like the really chunky salt, so I don't like to do too much. And then some pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And I did put like a liberal amount of oil on this. And then I have the oven at 400. Watch out, Dragon Man, it's hot. He's scavenging. Gosh. So hard one handed. Oh no. Okay. We're good. And then we got these guys sauteing. So in the onions, we put ground chicken. I'm sure you could do ground turkey if you wanted to. But we got that going over here. And I added uh, garlic powder and I actually added Old Bay seasoning, which is kind of weird, but I just wanted to. This recipe is from, I think it's Shana's Kitchen and she does a lot of extra stuff to it. And I, I honestly don't follow the recipe. I just kind of got the idea to do like a stuffed acorn squash from her. And then over here, I think Dragon Man. I've got some kale. And I like to add the kale last minute just because it cooks really fast. And if you guys don't have one of these, you should totally get one. They're such like a lifesaver. I think they're so cool. Like with fruits and stuff, you just let it hang there and dry. And lettuce, like it takes so long to get the water to go away. Sometimes I'll have to pat this, but so cool. I think it's so awesome that it just hangs over the sink like that. And you got it from Ikea. But what I'll do is I'll pick out the stems of this just because they get so hard to eat in the, in the meal. Yeah, now we're just gonna wait until the chicken's done cooking and the squash is done. And then once the squash is completely done, we'll stuff the squash and then stick it all in the oven and yeah, pretty, just for a few minutes so that it doesn't take long to cook. Sometimes I'll add feta cheese if I... Do we have feta cheese? I don't know. Let's see, moment of truth. Because that really does make do. it. If not, we, I could put shredded cheddar on there. That'd be or good. Like provolone or something. No, we don't have feta, but feta was really good last time. You know what I was thinking about doing is pomegranate seeds. I'm not doing that in mine. You don't want to try that? No. I feel like it'd be kind of nice, but... Oh, we could have done the potatoes. Oh, yeah, I forgot you wanted the side, don't you? No, we don't have to. It's pretty filling, honestly. I'll just it get is some really like... filling, but this time they gave us a really small like squash because we did Instacart, so we didn't go pick it ourselves, and it's like a very, very small squash. Yeah. Insert this into this. This is such a small squash. It is, but it's kind of, that one looks really deep. This one looks like not. But I would like to make sure that's really cooked because we like to like mix it with the chicken and spoon it out and it's magnifique. Okay. This is very difficult because this one's kind of tilted. Yeah. Make it work. I like all the oil at the bottom too. It's so yummy. Yeah. Okay. Let's, this is a challenge. So this already has the kale in it. Let's see how much. Nice. Nice. Oh, I left a big chunk of stem. Maybe I should be using a spoon, not a spatula. Why are we putting it back in there? What do you mean? Because, oh, well, this has been off of the heat for a minute because I didn't time it right. So I just like it all to melt together. Gotcha. I don't know. I just like to. And like, so the oil from the squash kind of gets into the chicken too. Mm -hmm. Ha! That's fine, and then I'll, I like to- Like the rest, like you can just- Yeah, I just put it on my plate. You know, this would be good in like a little wrap or something. I just put the extras on my plate, because it's, it's, there's not very much in the actual thing. Like oh, I, really? I like yeah. All right, and then we pop it in the oven. Yep. A memory from 2016 when I asked Hannah to Wait, prom. Wait, it's not focusing. Do you think it's okay that you're shirtless on this? 
Ask yes, Hannah matter. to prom. Wait, it's not focusing. Senior year. Look, you're so cute. I had a good hair day. Me too. Look at that mustache. That's back when I had hair. Oh my goodness. Cute. Look how freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Wow. Boot boop. Boot boop. Okay. Oh, it's bright. But Trevor and I are going to a basketball game. So I did my makeup. Let's see if we can make it more visible. It's like usually I haven't done like fun makeup in a minute. Like I used to go, oh look at that handsome little boy. I feel like this whole vlog is just gonna be my dogs. But I feel like no one's as obsessed with your dogs as you are. So, you know what, I'm gonna be me. Okay, let's see if we can see what's going on. So, I decided to do some blue eyeliner. Trevor said it was cool because the team's like magic, but honestly, I just did it because it was fun. I didn't even realize that. Not because the team is magic. And the magic wear blue. Their colors are blue. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this has been like an ongoing thing that I've like been forgetting like everything about this team that we're going to watch. What did I say earlier? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, it's the Urban Decay eyeliner and I swear that they have Let's see if this will focus a little better. I swear they have the best eyeliners. I've always used their colorful eyeliners. I used to go, I used to have so much fun when I was younger and do like blue eyeliner. And I only ever used to do it under my eye, but I decided to do like a whole wing with it. And I think it's so fun. But fly away. <laughs> and then I used to do like purple lipstick and everything, but I feel like with this, you need to keep it simple. I need to fix this up. I act, I really don't purposely overline. But, so I've had my lips done before, and it almost, like, it's so hard to tell where your line of, like, the line of demarcation for your lips is, because it, like, raises a different spot than where your lip line is, if that makes any sense. So I follow the line that it's raised at, just cause, so it make it look normal, but, yeah, I'm going to have to take a Q-tip and fix that up. And another thing, I usually don't do, let's see if it'll focus up. I usually don't do bottom mascara because my la my bottom lashes, I feel like are really long. Like they're long, I feel like they're longer than my top lashes. But I always get like black lines underneath my eyes. I think I start to see it. But I always get like black lines underneath my eyes and it just looks not good. Like Ryan Crew and eyes because of the mascara. So... I need to figure out a way to kind of get rid of that. But anyway, I'm so excited. And I feel good to put makeup on. I have it all weekend and it feels so good. Okay, let's go do something. Like what? I don't know, but I got my makeup on. So we got to. You know what we could do? What? Just go to like a, a bar or something down there by the stadium before the game. I thought you said you weren't going to drink. My dowel. You might dabble. But be snowing. Snowing, blowing. Wow, that light like makes all the difference. Another thing, our apartment is not facing like the really sunny side. It is right now. We just have lots of trees. Yeah, we have trees up. that just cover up everything. So it is so hard to get good lighting. So I feel like I have to bring this ring light with me everywhere I go. But right now, it's like perfect. I still have to use this ring light, but I think that's just so that they can see my makeup. I've also had this little friend that's come to play. That's massive, actually. He's not even little. What are you talking about? My pimple. Your little friend? I guess he's my little enemy. <laughs> if that's what you want to say. 
I would just call it a pimple. <laughs> My pimple. Babe, I feel like you never get face pimples. Nope. I feel like you should put on a shirt. I feel like you should put on a shirt. Suck it. Look how picturesque it is outside. I'm still in a sweatsuit. I haven't changed. Oh, it's so bright. I haven't changed. Because it's like, oh, it's actually kind of warmer though. It's like perfect right now. I haven't changed, so. Yeah, it was really, it's been pretty cold. It's been like in the 50s and I'm not used to that. This Florida girl can't handle that. I'm such a goober. This Florida girl. <laughs> But it actually feels really good. Is it supposed to drop tonight? Like, should I wear warmer clothes? I don't know. I'm digging this what eyeliner. I feel like I should just do more fun things with my makeup now. And I do feel like with this look, you should wear your hair up. Yeah, I feel like your hair it's, down. It's only gonna get colder. It's only gonna get colder? Well, it feels so nice right now. And guys, I am working on not touching my hair throughout the vlogs. That's something that I have noticed I do when I'm editing. So, I try to stop that. It's just hard when you can see yourself and you're like, I need to fix that. But it just needs to just not care. I'm so excited. I'm in such a good mood today. I hope everyone else is too. This, I'm having such a good day. I feel like these past few days I felt like crap. And I'm finally feeling really good and just full of energy. And I hope that lasts. The only thing about drinking before the game is I don't want to get like sleepy. Cause sometimes like drinking, like if you'll have like one or two beers, like I feel like you just get sleepy and you want to go home. Well, odds are it's going to be a blowout, so we're not going to be in the game. Well. That's okay. Maybe not. Should we just, should we, should we bet on the magic? On... We would what? So before we go, we decided to come to the park. Jackson, it's so nice and sunny. Jackson. Jagger again is like the worst dog to walk. He's so difficult. Trevor had to walk him. It's so it's so funny because I feel like I'm a petite person carrying like walking Jackson, and like you're obviously bigger than me and you're walking the small dog. Because <laughs> he's just that much more difficult. Can we drag him in? They're eyeing down a dog. Sunny, you look so cute in the sun. <laughs> Bobby, can you sit down? Jackson, can you sit? Jackson, I'm about to hit you with a rope. Ah. It's actually so relaxing. We should do this more often. That's what I'm saying. I enjoy this doing park this. park says residents only. Yeah, we're definitely like, not residents. How do you enforce that? <laughs> What's your address? And who enforces? I look across the street. They have like a. They have like a. I know. We totally they they had a sign that said "Don't put dog poop in this trash." No, can. no, no, no. We it totally it doesn't say that. It just says to pick up after your dogs. Oh, it doesn't say. I thought it says "Don't put dog poop in it." No. I'm pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't. I read it yesterday. Oh. Jack, you being a good boy now. Yeah, he is. Oh no, don't run because Jagger's gonna come after you. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jagger, chill out. Hold on. You can't bring him down. I know, he's too strong. Jagger has got me wrapped up. <laughs> He's completely wrapped around me. Jagger boy. <laughs> this dog is so crazy on a leash. It's crazy. When it's just him and I, he's so good. But when Jackson's involved, it's like he just wants Bobby, to be up there with that him. Grass. That's not good for you. Hey guys, so we are about to head to the Amway Center and go watch the game. For what? <laughs> what game? Who's playing? Magic yeah. and Utah. Utah Jazz. Yep. Utah Jazz. Yep, yep, yep. First NBA game. 
Yeah, Maddie, I'm excited. Maddie's probably going to lose, but I don't really have a team, so it's not like I really care. Right. I'm just excited to go watch some basketball. Yeah, me too. I've never really watched a game like I mean, I've We've been to the FSU you. games, but this yeah. is going to be is kind different. of a bigger scale. Yeah, I'm really excited. There's probably actually going to be way less people in the crowd than there were at FSU games, because FSU... Yeah, FSU was good. FSU was good when we were there. But yeah, we're about to catch an Uber. We're not going to bring the camera because you're not really allowed to bring cameras inside the stadium. So we're just going to try to get some like clips on the phone. Sheesh. If we can, it's probably not going to be really that exciting. But we're excited just to go and get out of the apartment. Yep. All right, so catch you guys later. Foul number 50, Paul Anthony. His first third team foul. Trent Forrest shooting two. What? To the over. All right guys, so we had such a fun night tonight and we're gonna close out this weekend vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. We took some some phone videos yeah. of the game. It was so much fun. I think we said before we left, or I said at least, I was expecting the magic to get blown out while we won. Yeah, it was, it was so insane. awesome. It was, it was a great game. Yeah. Cole Anthony, you the man. <laughs> Rudy Gobert, sorry buddy. It was All awesome. Right. It was a good game. Well, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Slash good night.